Let's talk about basic percent skills. And uh, nothing's more basic in terms of uh, or with respect to percent than finding the percent of a number. And we're going to practice that by doing this problem in this video. 45% of one half is equal to what? Now, if you think you know how to do this problem, I certainly encourage you to pause the video and break out your calculator. Feel free to use a calculator. Cal you know, using a calculator, you don't have to equate that to cheating or like, oh, you know, I shouldn't use a calculator. No, absolutely. Uh, uh, use a calculator to help you with the calculations, but a calculator is not going to tell you what to do. You have to tell the calculator what to do, right? So if you do happen to get the right answer, which I'm going to show you here in a second, what I really want you to think about is your level of certainty. You know, were you really confident in the steps uh, that you took to get the answer? But uh, if you're a little bit lost or shaky here on percent, especially if there's a fraction involved. Now, I'm going to clear up that confusion here in just one second. I'm also going to leave you with some uh, follow-on recommendations to continue building up your um, percent skills because this is a basic prom, but there's other percent type proms that you're going to want to be familiar with. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so 45% of one half. Again, don't be shy about using a calculator. And let's just review here how to find a percent of a number. So let's do something real uh, easy, 40%. Uh, let's say, oh, I don't know, uh, 350. Now, I'm not going to do this uh, problem, uh, but I am going to explain the basic process here of uh, how to find a percent of a number. Okay, so the basic process is this. We want to take this percentage. Here we have 40%, and we want to rewrite it as a decimal. So that's skill number one. Okay, you're going to have to go from percent to a decimal. Now, how do I do that? Well, let's look at 40% this way, 40.0%. Now, now, notice the decimal points right there. So to write this percentage as a decimal, all you need to do is move the decimal point two places to the left. So 40% uh, percent or 40.0% is equal to 0.4 as a decimal. Okay, because notice, again, I moved the decimal point over uh, two places to the left, it lands right there. So that's 0.4. So 0.4 is uh, the equivalent of 40%, 0.4 as a decimal. So that's the first skill you need to uh, um, know. Now, I'm going to, this is a kind of a quick review. Again, I'm going to leave you with some additional guidance here. Matter of fact, let me just leave you with some guidance right now. I have tons of videos in my pre algebra and algebra playlist on my channel about percent, basic percent, more advanced percent prompts. So that's my first recommendation for you. So, if, uh, you know, if you want more practice beyond this video, check out uh, all those videos in my uh, playlist. Or better yet, just jump into like one of my courses, like my pre algebra or algebra one course, I really thoroughly teach percent because percent is an extremely um, important math skill that you absolutely need to know. Okay, so this is the first skill you need to understand is how to go from percent to decimal. Now, uh, another way to think of this is we're taking this 40% uh, to uh, get to 0.4. If you divide it by 100, okay, you'll also get to uh, 0.4. So those are two different ways. We take our percent, we can divide it by 100, which is going to get us 0.4, or we could just locate the decimal point and scoot it over two places to the left. So we're going to leave, we're just going to, I don't want to give you too much information on percent in this problem because it's a basic percent uh, uh, problem. Okay, so we'll just leave it like this. So the first thing we need to do in a problem like this is go from a percent to a decimal. So I just explained how to do that. And then the second thing is how do we actually, uh, you know, what do we do with that answer? So 40% is 0.4 as a decimal. So 40% of 350, how do I find the answer? Well, you're going to take that decimal and you're going to multiply by the number. So it's going to be 0.4 times 350. So the second part of this is you're going to take your decimal and then you just multiply it by the number that you're trying to find that uh, respective percent for. And that's it. So uh, now here, the number is 350. The number that we're, we're dealing with is one half. So what you can do there is just convert that 
to a fraction. So one half, I'm sorry, convert that to a decimal. So how do I convert that to a decimal? Well, just go into your calculator, take one divided by two. Hopefully uh, all of you out there know it's 0.5. But if I wanted to uh, convert, you know, two fifths as a decimal, you just go into your calculator. If you don't know how to do this, because you know, some of these fractions are pretty common decimals, but that's okay. Just go into your calculator, take two divided by five, and you'll see the decimal equivalent. Okay, so now that you understand these steps, and hopefully you know, I'll explain this clearly, go ahead and try to figure out what 45% of one half is, okay? So what are you gonna do? You're gonna change that 45% to a decimal, okay? You're gonna need to change that one half to a decimal, and then you multiply these together and you'll get the answer. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this now, so if you don't wanna see the solution, go ahead and pause the video. But let's get to it. Again, uh, not a lot of work involved, uh, but you have to know what you're doing, right? So here, 45% uh, is 0.45 as a decimal. Again, 45 um, is uh, the same thing as 45.0%. So I can just scoot that decimal uh, point two places to the left, or I can take 45 divided by 100, and you'll get 0.45. And then one half as a decimal is 0.5. I can go into my calculator and divide one divided by two, or just know that oh, 0.5 is equivalent to the fraction one half. Now, I'm dealing with two decimals, so 0.45 times 0.5 is equal to 0.225, and that is the solution. Now, if you got that answer right, okay, I would have to definitely give you a happy face. Now, if you got that uh, answer correct and you knew exactly what I was talking about, in other words, you didn't, it, you got the answer, but it was kind of like guessing. If you're like, yeah, I think this is the answer, then I'll still give you a happy face because you got the right answer. But if you were absolutely certain in the steps to take, then I will need to give you an A plus and a 100%. And let's give you one star because this wasn't a difficult problem, okay? I give you more stars for more challenging problems, but you know, listen, feel good about that, you know, percent is extremely important in mathematics. It's an absolute must math skill. It's just, you know, it's probably the most practical math skill uh, that we uh, we actually encounter percent almost every day. Just think about it. if you're watching the TV or on your phone, you're at the store, you see percent off discounts, everything else like that, sales price, you open up your mail, you see uh, your credit card statements, APR, mortgage rates, you know, interest car loan uh, percents. So we see this symbol probably, I don't even know, maybe like 100 times uh, per day in a 24-hour period, and we should know a lot about it. Okay, very, very common, and of course, it relates a lot to uh, finances as well. So first things first, let's get you to understand basic percent uh, problems like this, and um, but you want to move on to more advanced stuff. So again, I'm going to uh, suggest that you check out all my additional videos on percent in my pre-algebra playlist on my channel. But let's wrap this video up. Now, if you like this video, if it helped you out, if it was a good little review for you, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for a long time. It's a great platform for someone like myself who is passionate uh, about teaching math. My goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way so you can learn it and move on with your goals, okay? So I have a lot of uh, videos on my uh, YouTube channel organized from basic to advanced math, but my best math help will always be found in my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.